Hello, I'm Matthew B. Lamont, and welcome to the South Park Vaccine Special Rant Video. So let's look over this strange but funny video, episode, special, sorry, about this vaccine. Is it better or worse than a pandemic special? So let's dig in, shall we? It begins when South Park is having a line at their local Walgreens and it's like presented like a club. There's a security guard, the bouncer with his mask on that says security, with sunglasses, this buff bouncer guy, and Mr. Mackey and Mr. Adler are trying to get in and the bouncer's like saying, sorry, you can't get in. Only if you're over 55 in this one. But I've been waiting on the, waiting and reserving my appointment for over 30 days or 30 hours, something like that. And I'm on the list. Sorry, sir. Back to the line, you go or get out. And as a result, uh, you see Butters, family, and all the other characters are like waiting in line and, and saying fibs like, Oh, I have pancreas. Oh, I have a pancreas problem. Oh, I have a heart problem. Something like that. And then you see a car coming and the bouncer says, it's this clear side, clear side, spread out, old lady coming through. And old lady comes and she says, 79 bitches. And everybody's complaining. Oh, come on now. How soup is that? And then we cut to the boys at school and they're all wearing their masks and they have this idea to get their bro ship back together to make a prank. They, because it was hamburger day and Cartman took all the ketchups, he put the ketchups on the teacher's seat. So when Miss Nel Nelson sat there, it looked like she had her period. And it worked, causing her to freak out and leave. But now she left, she's quit the school because, or left the school because, walked out on school because that stupid prank and everybody hated the boys because of their stupid prank. It makes fun of the fact that how a lot of people don't find South Park funny anymore because they keep being excessive and outdoing themselves to the point is, well, it's not funny anymore. You're trying to be funny. You keep doing this. You're trying to be funny. You're, you're trying to be funny. You're trying to milk the subject, but it's not funny anymore. So, next, Mr. Garrison returns, and uh, everybody's mad at him, and he's got his uh, friend named Mr. Service, and he wants to go back to teaching, and everybody's like angry at him because he was a president. When he arrives at the school, he, he, a person asks him, okay, what makes you think you want to be a teacher here. Ah, oh, teaching was my life. Ah, da, da, da. And then he talks about uh, previous uh, seasons from older episodes where one, he was he was gay, but two, he was a woman trapped in a man's body. That episode called Mr. Garrison's Fancy New Vagina includes the line, "I'm sorry, I don't like vaginas." as quoted by Mr. Slave. He talks about uh, he wants to become the president, hence the presidential phase. You see him mocking Trump, and then he's like back to normal. This is the most twisted character I've ever seen. And then, there was this, and then he talked about being a teacher, then when he arrived, all the students were like, ah, And everybody's still flipping angry at the four stooges. So, now what are we going to do? Make it up to them. How? By vaccinating the teachers, because teachers want to be vaccines too. And these old people, they're celebrating and being happy that he got vaccined. And you see Stan's grandfather, Hey, Billy! You didn't get your vaccine? We got vaccined! Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go to the bar and get some pussy, yeah, oh, oh. hope you love social distancing, <laughs> as if they're acting like immature teenage delinquents. <laughs> so, next, they have to find a way to make it up to them by stealing the COVID-19 vaccines and giving them to the 
and giving them to the, the teachers. And elsewhere, there's a report where this report says, Sir, I'm standing in line where the hottest place on South Park, Walgreens, is where the vaccines are happening. And I'm going to take a look inside. I'm sorry, you can't. Oh, come on, please. No, you cannot come in. You cannot come in and get and, and go inside. And he sees old ladies come inside. Spread out, old lady coming through. Oh, yeah, it's coming through. And then you see the boys doing their little prank called um, community Kids for Communities. And you see the boys take this old lady in and the, and the, uh, what was it? And, the, and they say, okay, could we have, uh, uh, come for a vaccine? And he says, okay, you have to pay me now. Pay me or I'll squeal. And, uh, and then the, then the doctor arrives. Sir, uh, is there a problem? Oh, these gentlemen came, these nice four boys came and, I don't know, I'm an old lady. I need some more greenbacks to help me recuperate and get going. And... Cartman refuses to pay the old lady, stands pissed off, and then they make a run for it. And they have like all these jokes where this old man's on a motorcycle impressing this old lady, and uh, Mr. Mackey says, Excuse me, sir, I'm Kay. Oh, would you cut that out? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. got these antibodies all in my ear. So, next, uh, Mr. Garrison came back, and we wanted to get the old lady back, and uh, Mr. Garrison met um, Mr. White at the store, and uh, getting school supplies, and Mr. White said, What do you want? Oh, you're a chosen one. You're great. Got any plan, chosen one? Why don't you go blow it out your dick hole? And Mr. White held up this meeting <laughs> with the Trump supporters, and says, B blow it out, BS, that sounds for bullshit, and, and blow it out, what, this dick hole, David something, I forgot the name, oh yes, David Harris, he must have known something, and as a result, the, with uh, Mr. Garrison being back, and all the parents getting angry over the fact that he's a bad influence to the students, they decide to let the kids stay home, get tutoring, and get tutoring and and they have like the QAnon people, right? Decided to tutor the kids by corrupting them with QAnon conspiracies. Saying that at Hollywood there's there's the children are having are are being satanically sacrificed to cause their blood carries adrenaline which we celebrities young, hope for Winfrey and Barack Obama, and you see Barack Obama biting a kid as if he was like Dracula. The kids are corrupted by it. Mr. Garrison is like, okay, where are the kids? Where the hell are my students? Oh, they're up, they're, they're, they're at home because they can't stand you. And Bebe told everything, it's just Bebe and Jimmy. So, so Mr. Garrison and Mr. Service was like a security guy wearing a suit on top, but down below, no pants, nothing but a banana hammock. <laughs> Ew. Don't stare at it. And so, they arrive to this, this lady's place and he says, Okay, who's responsible for this? Who's responsible? Answer, okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, the whites, the whites. And then, after strangling her by, after getting strangled by Mr. Service, she died and they left. And you see, uh, Craig said, Oh, great. 2021 will be like 2021 all over again. Yeah. We think. Possible. I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball with me. What's next was they, the boys are using their vaccines to distribute to teachers, but all the other people are like coming to like performers the singers, the actors, and they're like saying, a shot, a shot, please give me a shot so I can feel like a somebody. Yes, a shot, a shot, I want a shot too. <laughs> oh my God, this is, that was funny. Okay, that was funny. It's like getting a shot at show business, getting a shot at immunity. <laughs> so, now the boys escape at Raisins, and at Raisins, they decided that Oh look, 
what what's going on here? Our bro ship is falling apart. And they want to tell it to Kenny because Kenny gets emotional at it. So Cartman, Stan, and Kyle are discussing. We need discussing. We put it to ourselves. No, to the teachers. No, to our family. And they have and they said, no, we have to spread it out. Because silence is violence. Hmm. That's a catchy phrase. And there was a song called Silence is Violence from like a few years ago. So what happened was that Kyle's like uh, putting uh, cactus juice, pineapple cactus, cola, into the vaccine as a replacement. And her friendship was starting to fall apart slowly. And dude, it's about time. I mean, Stan and Kyle are starting to fall apart here. And what happened next was like, they have to, they have no nothing to do, but S Kyle has a call from his father. And he's like lecturing him about, hey, we never abandoned you as a kid, so why don't you care for us? Use a vaccine on us as well. And Kyle's like guilt stricken. And the boys arrive, the boys arrive to the, to the school, but oh no. The boys, the students that were corrupted by QAnon, are going to prevent them because the vaccines are bad. Hence the name Little Cuties. Yeah, it's reference to Cuties, the uh, Netflix movie that caused a lot of controversy. Why do they make that? Uh, don't get me started on that one as well. So, Cuties, Little Cuties were there, and then the performers, who people want their shot arrive so they all make an escape and so Cartman pulls up a scheme on who to schedule who to give the shots to and then Mr. Garrison meets some Bob White and they meet and they find out how they're going to stop this so they must go to Hollywood they arrive to the mountain which is like a parody of those Paramount Plus commercials this is where it gets completely messed up Bob White saying, oh, the Hollywood is like, we're corrupting everything, don't listen to them. And it gets messed up where it breaks the fourth wall, and they're all like CGI, and then boom, back to another shot, and Mr. Garrison discovers that, uh, that, uh, the computer, Hollywood, is messing around with Bob White, and he turns into a fat lady, then turns into a penis. With his head there, then turns into a cartoony pig, then a cowboy, and then <laughs> turns into an upside down stripper walking on his hands with his head's on the butt. And Mr. Garrison sees that Mr. Service has turned into Mr. Hat, and Mr. Garrison, says, okay, let's make a deal, let's make a deal. And just because when all hope is lost, um, there was like a fight between the QAnon and the celebrity and the performers want the shot, how to go break through, and as a result, they start charging through. But wait, through Deus Ex Machina, Mr. Garrison carrying a wagon with Mighty Joe Hung Daddy, i.e., Bob White transformed into a big flopped penis with flowers on top, he says, Look, I, look, I found a cure. The Israelis are coming. They'll give you the cure. And the Israelis came and they made, and they gave him the cure, which is making fun of the fact that the Israelis made a vaccine for the, for, for, what was it again? The coronavirus, yes, COVID-19. And the boys come in, but, uh, the school, and they want to give the vaccine to Miss Nelson, but not, but she died. But uh, the priest says, okay, let's celebrate. And everybody's celebrating because they got the vaccines. Mr. Garrison's back in action. Everything's went back to normal. The boys, want, Cartman wants to go to Casa Bonita with the two other boys. But he can't because to take care of Kenny. And uh, that's it. Everybody's celebrating. And wait a minute. In this montage of the people who celebrated, did Chef return? I thought he was killed off in 2006. Ah, it's a cartoon. Nothing makes sense anymore. And Randy Marsh is selling his pandemic specials and vaccine specials with Towley. All in all, it 
It was a good episode. Uh, I'm going to go lie down. What caused Matthew to despise South Park? Tune in after these messages. Look, Charlie, McDonald's $15 million, you deserve a break today passport. I never win. Oh, no, don't be silly. There's millions of prizes to win. $100,000. Or a trip to the Orient. $300,000. Or your dream vacation. Do you think I might win? <gasps> McDonald's. Have you ever wanted to stretch the hell out of your friends, Mickey and Donald? Wait, what? Well, now you can! Please. Be Stop. Goofy, why? Show your friends, Mickey and Donald, who's the alpha male with stretch the hell out of your friends, Mickey and Donald. And now back to the South Park vaccine special rant video with Matthew B. Lamont. <sighs> what a break. Okay, now here's a question. Why do I not like South Park? What caused me to stop watching it and avoid it like the plague? Hmm, I wonder. What caused a guy like me to not like it and avoid the show like the plague? Oh, that's a good question. Well then, here's the answer. It gets excessive. Okay, in 2009 I stopped watching it. Specifically, the Dead Celebrities episode where I discovered, oh, it's just too much. But the reason why I stopped watching it was that, because it got too excessive. They take a subject, and they milk it. They milk it. And do they stop? No. They keep going until it runs out of milk. And guess what? Do they stop from there? No, they won't go more. They tear out the cow's udder. And after they tear out the cow's udder, do they stop from there? No. They just rip the cow open, tear out its innards, and run around with its innards all over the street. Yeah. So there. But what caused me not to like it? What was that one episode? 2009. It was the episode Dead Celebrities, where Ike sees the ghosts of all these celebrities that passed away. And then is parody The Sixth Sense. And then Michael Jackson's spirit possessed Ike. And the only way to keep the spirit out of his body was to put him in a child beauty pageant, uh, toddlers and tiaras. Okay, fortunately, I had a TV back then that had a still button, and just pause the show while the show plays on. And when you want to, and when you press the still button again, it goes back to the program. So I press the still button as soon as we saw the exterior of the building. I have to listen through it, and I have to. Keep, close my eyes and cover them because it's like a cake. But if you take the cake, it's icing and sprinkles, and you replace it with garbage, impure water, dirt, mud, mold, it, it, it doesn't taste too good. Who wanted to eat a cake like that? It's disgusting. As soon as the episode was over, I was like, that's it. I'm swearing off South Park because they keep outdoing themselves. They keep milking the subject, to the point it's not funny anymore. And therefore, I'm not going to watch it. I'm going to avoid it. And from 2009 to 2020, I've been avoiding it like the plague. And I've been watching other shows that are not South Park, like Final Space, Rick and Morty, and uh, Solar Opposites, and Close Enough. Even Neighbors from Hell. Why? Because they're not South Park. So with that, I discovered that uh, most people like excessivity. Some people don't. Some things are not for everybody. And when I wrote on an online forum that 
South Park is not funny anymore, some person wrote, Anybody who doesn't like South Park is an old lady. First of all, I'm not an old lady. I'm a young man. And second of all, just because I don't like something doesn't make me an old lady. No, I have limitations. It's your Napoleon complex that is talking. Now, what's the Napoleon complex? You see here, Napoleon Bonaparte was a legendary hero in France, and he conquered lots of lands. And when people disagree with him and don't like what he thinks, he gives them flack. Oh, you hate me. Oh, you're against me. Oh, you're my enemy. Oh, how dare you talk that to me. That's the Napoleon complex. Just because when I don't like something like South Park, Family Guy, Adventure Time, the regular show, The Amazing World of Gumball, Dan vs. Problem Solvers, Uncle Grandpa, does not make me an old lady at all. Does not make me a bad person, or an old person, or a villain, or a meanie. It's just an opinion, and please respect that opinion! Sometimes I wonder, why do things happen? What causes the ungodly events to unfold? We're living in a troublesome time. Yes, I respect your opinion that you like South Park, but please respect mine that I don't like it as well. I ran into a lot of people who hated King Kong, who hated Daffy Duck, who hated Coyote and Roadrunner, who hated Charlie Brown, and guess what? I respected them. Why do people hate King Kong? Because it was horrible. Why do people hate Daffy Duck? Because he could be mean or insane. Why do people hate Coyote and Roadrunner? Because Coyote's attempts at catching a Roadrunner is stupid because they commonly backfire. That's what makes it funny. Why do people hate Charlie Brown? Because it's too grounded to reality or something? Or you're such a loser? I understand that, but please. I respect your opinion, but respect my opinions as well, as well as the opinions on others. I mean, come on now. We, this is America, land of the free, home of the brave. We're living in a troublesome time. Leftists, rightists, middleists, whateverists. This is going too far. We're the United States of America, not the divided states of America. There's an old saying that goes like this. United, we stand. Divided, we fall. All in all, I have to say that the vaccine special is much better than the pandemic special. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. We're not out of the woods yet. And when we are, things will go back to normal. Hopefully. This is Matthew Bielmont saying, don't forget to like, subscribe, and have a nice day.